A new study says more young women are having heart attacks. In fact, nearly a third of all women who had a heart attack were between 35 and 54 years old. Researchers say female heart attack symptoms tend to be harder to recognize than male warning signs. And for more on this, let's send things over to Bridget, who's with a cardiothoracic surgeon from the Queen's Medical Center. Thank you, Marissa. Joining us now is Dr. Peter Sai, who, by the way, just completed a five to six hour surgery today and just came into the studio. Thank you so much for taking some time out to talk Bridget, to us. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to contribute. For background. The study yeah. looked at medical records of 30,000 people between the ages of 35 to 74. A third of those patients were ages 35 to 54, considered young, and that increase was driven largely by female patients, and that's the context of what uh, the questions I'd like to be asking you. Doc, what do you think is the reason for this uptick? So the key thing is important to know that the last 20 years, women who at the younger age, between 35 to 55 years of age in general, went from 21% to now 31% of okay. overall patients that have heart attacks. What is the cost? Well, the cost, we think, has to be related to the more modern era of the stress that the women probably have, obesity, and decreased physical activity. So these are the, the causes for it. Now, in conjunction with that, the associated risk factors that are typically known and well-known to everyone else are basically diabetes, high blood pressure, tobacco use, smoking uh, of different kinds, vaping and so forth. Um, those are the things that will contribute heavily, family history, mm. to these types of things. Doc, point blank, for women ages 35 to 74, should they be concerned? I think they should be concerned in the sense that when they have the family history, when they have the risk factors and the causes that will set them up for a heart attack, they should be well informed that the atypical symptoms we allude to later uh, can cause a heart attack for them. Okay, so Lynn, let's talk about the common symptoms of heart attack in young women. What are the signs? Well, the common signs of, of you know, heart attack in general that relates both to women and men is the classic crushing in the chest pain, radiating to the jaw, the neck, and then the numbness associated with the left upper extremity of your arm. But with the atypical you know, symptoms mm -hmm. of young women, which is very common in them but very atypical in women and men are signs of nausea, um, shortness of breath, abdominal pain and back pain. But again, it has to be stressed with the paper that was being published. Um, these are symptoms that are very general. So it behooves the consumer, i.e. the patients, the young women, to know more about their own background, their own, their own history. And then with that kind of background understanding, with these very atypical signs, they have an increased suspicion that they may have a heart attack. Well, Doc, I'm still stuck on the fact that stress is certainly a factor in heart attacks. I know plenty of women that would be classified as young women, you know, in the context of this study that work so hard. Um, what can women do to prevent a heart attack? Well, surprisingly and not surprisingly is, number one, stop smoking. Very important factor. It's a huge contributor. I have to say that. And then the, the great mantra of just healthy diet, and healthy exercise. So yoga, active lifestyle, those are the key things that young women can help prevent. Another thing is if you have a family history, if you know your risk factors, go to a doctor at you know, an early age, get acquainted with your medical health, and be prepared to understand that with all the risk factors associated with it, with these atypical signs, one can be a risk factor for a heart attack. Dr. Peter Sai, thank you so much for joining us today. All good information that we definitely will be sharing. Marissa, over to you.